should one deal with rejection? Well, hey, we kind of covered it a little bit in the last episode. Cry, Dave. But <laughs> well, which is also part of the. No, yeah, I, mean, I was being kind of sincere. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but I actually really like this as a question because uh, there are so many practical tips, so many feelings about this because, hey, been rejected. Actually, yeah, been rejected twice quite intensely in the last year. And in general, I have been rejected plenty of time by people that like meant the world to me. And so it happens for everyone is what I'm trying to say. Even um, your agony arms. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, I know yeah, what you mean. Like, I know what you mean. I, I'd be surprised if you meet anyone, every, anyone no, that hasn't been rejected. If you haven't been rejected, it's because you've been scared to try. Or you somehow are in one of those relationships that started when you were 17 and you're still together, which... Yeah. I, I, I think there are two parts to this, mm -hmm. which we kind of covered in a previous video last episode, but there's being rejected from someone, from like a hookup scenario, where you're like, hey, babe, in the bar, and she's like, no. And there's being rejected when you've attempted or pursued or has been more of an emotional, maybe long-term-ish input in someone, and then it happens. And yeah. those are two different things and I think you deal with them in two different ways, maybe? Yes, well, yeah, if you get enough rejection on those like nights out, like don't become like desensitized to that and just like trying to hit on everyone just to see if someone sticks because that's mm -hmm. not like you being rejected, it's just you being a prick instead of reproducing that mm -hmm. behavior and then people will like you less and less anyways. Yeah, if you're like a cock and someone throws a drink on you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then uh, with the more uh, with the more emotional stuff, I have a few tips. Yeah, should I? Yeah, go for it. So number one tip that I've it, it, I learned, um, I think it, it opened up everything for me actually. Um, you don't really when you get rejected, you feel extremely uh, you know embarrassed, humiliated. Like they'll hate you. Like they're disgusted by you. All of these feelings, like... Like they'll tell all, your, all their friends as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone will know. Yeah, yeah. And it's like such a... That they, you're, yeah, you're such a petty, ham, like, you're maggot a of a human being. Absolutely. Yeah. And then and that they hate you in some sort of way or form. Yeah. And then what really helped me to think that that's not the case at all, well, obviously, still subjective, but um, it's when I was, you know, in a situation, I guess, when I rejected someone. And did I think of them even an ounce less? Not at all. Yeah. Not at it's all. It's so true. Yes, and that's what that's when things clicked me. I'm like, I just you know re reject that person. Though they like, I guess, admitted feelings to me. And do I think any less of them? Do I want to hang out less with them? Do anything like that? Not at all. They mm. were great. They were babes about it, and we hang out all the time. That's the thing. Th those emotions are most unless the person who rejected you is a cunt. Like those feelings are mostly coming from you, totally. and like. I'm not to say you won't have them, you will have them, but like trying to understand that they're coming from you and not from that person totally. is, yeah, is, is huge. Yeah, like, yeah, they yeah. really yeah. help me to sort yeah, of... Because when I reject someone, I'm like, please tell me my friend. And often the rejected person is the one who makes distance understandably because they're hurt. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, unless they're an asshole, like they will probably just honestly feel sad about the situation, feel sad that they, they've hurt you. Yeah. Like, that's the thing that happens when I reject someone. I just feel really sad that this person I care about, I've hurt their feelings. Yeah, yeah, but in no way does that like... Well, I don't think they've ever think less no. of you or anything. Well, and, and like I've said in previous videos, like I don't hit on people because I'm terrified of rejection, right? And so if someone has had the bravery to tell me they like me, and then I like, yeah, and I reject them, I feel like so impressed by them that they had this like confidence to say this to me, and that they were prepared to put their heart on the line in a way that I don't. Yeah, like, I'm like I'm like ultimate respect for you, and I'm so so sorry. I can't like be with you in the way you want, like. Yeah. If anything, like it's the, the the people that are doing the rejecting that need to learn a lot more because there are some yeah. people that like do it really well and like still make you feel, you know, like the awesome person that you that are. Good question. And then I hope yeah, you get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there are some that are absolute dickheads about it and then those are the ones that will destroy you and that's really, yeah. really tough. Um yeah, in terms of even more um, practical things, I wouldn't uh, personally. That's what worked for me. I don't know. I wouldn't advise. I would not personally advise the whole like block them off of social media and all of that stuff and never see them again. Because to me personally, what it helps is like the demis the, the demystification of them, so that they're not just like something out there that I will forever think that they're perfect. But you know, bit by bit, you kind of become see like you do start seeing them as mortal rather than it's just like this whole idea that you had in your head. So I know most people go like, oh, block everything and every like all the time, you know. But I don't know, like I'm more, I'm, I'd, I'd rather see bit by bit the, the imperfections actually really get rid of those feelings of like fancying someone rather than, you know, kind of continue fancying them for the rest mm. of my life, really. It's interesting because I only recently blocked a thing that is kind of associated with someone that kind of rejected me, but it was a different situation. 
But um, uh, before that, someone who we're both very close with. Whoop, sorry. Um, I found out this thing about this person who had kind of rejected me, and I was very, I was very heartbroken. Whether or not they actually rejected me is semantics, but I was very heartbroken about. Um, and I saw this thing of them, and it made me panic and all this stuff. And then someone, yeah, who was very close with us, gave me this really wonderful bit of advice. I think about all the time, and he said, "Yeah, it's going to hurt when you see them. It's going to hurt every time you see them for the foreseeable." But, like see them on social media, I mean. But every single time you see them on social media, it's gonna hurt five percent less. Totally. It's gonna. It's still gonna be that you're still gonna get that stab in the gut, but it is. It is going to lessen. Hundred percent. And whereas the problem is when you do something like what I did recently and block them entirely, is when someone mentioned in passing this thing that they'd done, it was like mm. because I hadn't desensitized myself to them. Yep. And so although it was like it was used as a safeguarding mechanism. Actually, it ended up meaning that it was more of a shock when I did see them because I pretended they didn't exist. Yeah. So, you know, I've done both. But yeah, that bit of advice, like, it will hurt, but it will hurt 10% less, is true. Because that 10% less is also time. And I know, like, time is the greatest healer is boring advice, but it fucking is. Yeah, 100%. And then onto that sort of final bit of the um, tips. Oh, the tips. I have two. Um, both of them I've utilized and I think to great extent, uh, sorry, to great success. Uh, so one of them is, I, I think we mentioned this again in the past, I write down 21 reasons as to why I don't necessarily like that person. So like, you know, like just the little things, like I don't know, something annoying that they do with their hair or something annoying, like I don't know, something annoying about that particular friend of theirs or something really annoying that they did in that particular situation. But you really have to remember all the annoying things because like what our brain, I don't know tricks us into doing is only remembering the nice mm. things and uh, I think it is not that bad to juggle your memory and sort of remember those little things that kind of annoyed you uh, so I write down 20 21 reasons and uh, 21 yeah, it's just like it's not exhausting but it's just enough yeah okay. and then by the end you kind of have to already really really think but then by that point you're already kind of like I, I it, it's enough and that right. actually works for me, it does. Do you refer back to it at different, uh, like yes. wobble times? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you remember those. Because yeah, again, you just you always forget, and because you always perf I don't know you think of that relationship in such perfect, you know, you know the, the sort of modes yeah, of like idealize it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so it's good to remember those those darker bits mm. or how they treated your friend or something like that. Or how they treated you? Well, yeah, even that, of course. But uh, like the more the more sort of like the kind of the less prosaic and the more practical that stuff is, the better, you know, mm. like, so the more like matter of fact, like really, really kind of straight to the point, then that's the better. And then the last one, <laughs> oh God, I think I've only told you and one more person about this that, that I do. Is this a thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I love this. Oh God. Okay, so uh, yeah, again, so th as we all know, the first couple of days are the trickiest, are the worst uh, after a rejection as such. Um, and what I do is I, paint either with red and black because I, uh, I like it like that i paint a strip sort of from here for here so it kind of looks aesthetically quite beautiful uh with like a marker pen up to here or so so sort of a big strip that i would always see but it looks kind of pretty no one will ever know what that is and it's, you know it's not tattooed or anything but um it's just that and it's and it's just a reminder you know it's a reminder to not I mean, but it's a reminder to like not message that person you real really when you're doing the painting you have to really think or like or you really have to kind of really remember like that this is now fucking over like that's it i'm not going back to that so every time you have a wobble and you're like i'm gonna tell yeah 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 and then every time because you wash your hands right then it goes off you have to keep on doing it keep on like keep on putting it on keep on putting it on i mean yeah usually it lasts like five to six days or something like that obviously after like lots of repainting it and all that stuff but by the end of like the first week or so it's like you can already see clear mm. it's you like quitting smoking the first five days are the fucking worst yeah and it's the sort I of thing smoking again after five days <laughs> <laughs> it's the sort of thing no one can really tell what it is but it's with you it's very physical it kind of looks pretty for me anyways yeah. um and it's a visual reminder it's a visual reminder you know so i mean they can really take in any shape you know mm -hmm. yours could be completely different or whatever it is but no but i like this because it's interesting because advice then falls into shoes and sections like why they're shit and also what like mechanisms you can use which is yeah. nice like yeah because like yeah even if you've been rejected you can say oh they're an asshole but you also you still you still wanna like, yeah 
and like basically like yeah you, you whenever you're putting this on you you know that you shouldn't ever text them because like it would be a bad idea for this and this and this read and this and and then you know it's friday night and you had a few and like oh i'm just gonna text them and then it's just that reminder that like remember how you were when you put yeah. that but that on remember why you did why it. you did it uh, and and yeah, that really goes like yeah, fuck. I really I'm just drunk. And I'm not being clever. And then in the morning, go regret it anyways, right? And so yeah. Have you ever had a time where you did the line oh, and 100%. broke it? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but to be fair, we got back together, so that's fine. Okay, well yeah, then that's yeah. 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 That was a good reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I guess I guess that's that. No, no, I love Jesus, that. Jesus, I'm fucking booby this time. Oh, I don't know. We were in bikini the last time. Yeah. You can't true, get more booby than that. True, true. It's really hot in here. Yeah, it is. So take off all your clothes, I am gay. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. I love a good karaoke. I think I'm going to do karaoke for my birthday. Amazing. But it's like, it's November. So it's like, there's not... November. <laughs> so there's Get present. some birthday presents. But, um, but yeah, there's not much to do like outside. So I thought we could go to karaoke. Absolutely. Really yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So right. let's go. Um, right, God, do I feel like we're going super anything? fast. I'm actually Good. fine with the bowels right now. Fantastic. Yeah. I normally need to pee like a fucking stallion but today not oh okay this one is but we're gonna no. yeah. <sighs> oh yeah. yeah we'll just okay hi i hope i'm not asking a repeat question you are you are i am male 28 i'm trying to get better at talking to people that i'm attracted to but I keep getting stuck in the mindset that i learned from older men in my life or oh, pursue 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 I find this advice terrible in the modern world, but I have never had a chance to learn a better way. I now find myself struck with anxiety whenever I want to talk to someone that I'm interested in. What advice do you think you might be able to offer? We have covered um, exactly like how to flirt without being a creep, but specifically that title, but also we have covered this in many, many, many yeah. videos. So I'm so sorry, we're just having to become a bit pickier just because like what we released last video with something like 10 or days ago, or two weeks ago, we already got 13 questions, which is like, we're super lucky. It's and wonderful, like, yeah. It's wonderful, but it's just like, we don't have, we both work full time. We just don't have to film the time to film these. This so often, please so we have do to check out here. our previous videos. Our titles are quite self-explanatory, and also Marianne, bless her soul, bothered to put them into separate playlists based on different themes. So there is a playlist about how to date, basically. Yeah. That please just check just out. Binge through that um, the, if you can. Yeah. The only thing I would say is the thing about like what they pursue, pursue, pursue. Yes. Just so just through on binging part, you can also because we might be a bit. I don't know, annoying, whatever. Just put us on like 1.5 speed, like, because we do bang on. Like, that's how I listen to most of our stuff, it's like 1.75 speed. Man, you, I, I think you're crazy because I think we talk fucking fast and they have to like <laughs> slow it down to like 0.75, but as you wish. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry, now the on the. Yeah, um, just that, like, you already said that's bad advice. Don't do that. Oh, yeah, watch our other videos. I don't know, yeah. You're yeah. Right. I don't like. Don't follow that advice. It's obviously bollocks and non-consensual and gross. Yeah, but also don't fall into the thing where you have anxiety talking to someone that you're interested in. Like, everyone has, has suffers from the same thing. Do you think we, we all suffer from anxieties whenever we're talking about that someone we're yeah. interested in? Like, we Jesus, all do so or say something stupid. Absolutely. Like, all the time. So this is like universal, literally. So like, sorry, babes, not that special. <laughs> no, 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 but you know what I mean. You like, all have anxiety. What advice do you think you might be able to offer? Like, you're going to be okay. Check our other videos. If you have questions after watching the other ones on our How to Date stuff, then please send in a more specific question. I quite like the idea of Pursue just because it makes you assertive, but obviously you have to read other people's signals if anyone is even flirting with you. All of that stuff. That's the thing, yeah, because you can pursue. You can. Like, okay, this is our politics of seduction thing, right? Seduction in and of itself is not non-consensual. Seduction when the person has clearly shown a lack of interest is non-consensual. You have to earn yeah. their interest. And you, you can do that. And by, okay, if by pursue you mean like, <laughs> no. If by pursue you mean I like this girl, I'm going to go out of my way to talk to her at a party. Fine. Unless you, you know. Compliment her in nice ways. Yeah, I'm going to be like, hey, it's great. I haven't seen you in a while. How's it going? There are ways of pursuing someone you're interested in that aren't, shit yeah don't do nagging it's funny interesting. the only thing don't that's harass her. yeah but it's funny that it's like the older man is but who's mm, recommending well. this as in this clear like generational divide um but uh there is a lot there are a lot of fucked up politics in relationships of like the older generation mm -hmm. so yeah certainly don't don't um, don't emulate that, that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. all right mm -mm. smoothing whiftly on okay i'm gonna get another thing here oh please oh. okay I will say the skirt is only for walking in. Oh, this question. I, I like all the questions. But yeah, I like yeah, this yeah. No, there's some basically that are just like less repeaty. Oh, also more like this one like pertains very much to me. 
Oh, I mean, if you're saying it's both of us, but I feel very like, I'm with you. So, <laughs> Let's go. Or the ones about rejection, I don't really. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> Me too, I feel like I have never been rejected. <laughs> That's because I never hit on people That's though, true. and I recognize that as my flaw. Have I been rejected? I mean, yeah, the, the, the big thing that isn't quite a rejection, but is also a rejection. Right. The like traumatic incident in my life. Right. It was never a rejection because I never went there, which is the problem. Yeah. Which is why I had two years of torment. Right. Yeah. So also don't not pursue someone because that will be terrible too. Uh. Okay. And this is why we're not experts. We're just two gals yeah. trying to get through this. Yeah, sorry, weird... when I say we're sex therapists, that's very, very tongue in cheek. I recognise yes. that we're not qualified to do this no, no, and no. we would never pretend God, we are. I mean, look at us. Yeah. <laughs> I would, they should be fat. I feel much more comfortable in like a therapist's office to say like we're having a fag. You know, like in olden days when you're allowed to smoke in the offices. Like I don't think I could go to a therapist if I couldn't smoke. Well, I think the ones like expensive ones, private ones, you probably can do whatever the yeah. fuck you want. Like, just like piss on the floor. Literally. Yeah, I imagine someone like Johnny Depp just doing that. Probably. Yeah. Did you ever watch um, Cruel Intentions? No. Where it's about like, oh my god, so loads of really rich people that screw over this rich girl and they're all taking coke all the time. It's really good. Right. It's really like rich people doing terrible stuff. But the boy has like a really expensive therapist and it's like, I would just really get angry though. No? Yeah, 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 it's terrible. But it's also kind of sexy in a terrible way. Oh, okay. 